The magic lamp. Narrow gauge engines work very hard. They puff and chuff all day up and down the hills. One day, the winding gear that carried coal trucks up and down the incline broke. The engines had to work extra hard, pulling heavy coal trucks up and down the long, steep track. Until, at the end of the day, they could ease their aching axles. That evening, Thomas puffed into the transfer yard. All the narrow gauge engines were there. Thomas was delivering steel winches and wires to repair the broken incline. Listen, Thomas, who said Rusty, Scarlo is telling us a story from the hills. Long, long ago, began Scarlo, there was an old engine called Proteus. His lamp was so bright you could see it for miles around. Proteus said it was a magic lamp. He promised that if any engine ever found a lamp, their wishes would come true. How would you know it was Proteus's lamp? asked Duncan. First you feel a rush of wind whenever the lamp is near, Scarlowy chuffed quietly. Then you hear a strange creaking sound. And finally, he added, you'll see it flicker on and off, off and on. Peter Sam huffed loudly. I don't believe there's a magic lamp. Soon all the steel winches and wires were loaded into Peter Sam's trucks. I have work to do, huffed Peter Sam. I'm a really useful engine, not a really silly one. The incline must be working by morning, so I won't be wasting my time looking for a silly magic lamp, he tooted proudly, and he steamed quickly away. The moon was bright. Peter Sam huffed and puffed. The magic lamp I know isn't true. It's just an old story and quite silly too. Peter Sam clickety-clacked towards a junction. Suddenly, he felt a great rush of wind. His axles rattled and his couplings creaked. What's happening? Peter Sam whistled. He was so surprised he puffed right past the junction. <laughs>